of fishing culture. I just hope that this, um, the sound gets to you all because it's quite windy today and uh, unfortunately not doing any fishing due to the heavy wind and um, water conditions are not the greatest. So today we're doing something a little bit different um, which is harvesting mussels off the rock and we're going to do our first ever catch cook. So yeah, I would have liked it to be a fish but uh, every time we did catch a fish I never got a chance to do a catch cook. But that's obviously in the pipeline and it will be coming soon as well. But today guys, just a quick demo on how to uh, get this, um, this muscle. Um, obviously I'm sure you guys know that you do require a permit for it and you allow 30 per person per day. Um, obviously for eating guys, I would say 30 is more than enough. Um, especially if you have a small family. Um, if you have more than two permits, you can take a little bit more. But uh, really for fishing, for bait wise, you don't really need that. You get like 10. If the fish wants it, you can always get more afterwards. So guys, stay tuned. We're going to show you how we take it out from the rock. I've got Terry and Capella with me today. And uh, they will be also assisting me with the catch cook because I it's going to be my first time preparing mussels and uh, with the help of Terry who's going to be guiding me through it uh, I'm sure uh, I will do a good job because he's a good cook so anyway guys stay tuned Okay, we've got our mussels. Um, quite enjoyable getting them. Nice to have a feel of the water. It's a pity that we never carried our rods. If not, I would have definitely put a mussel bait out there for that cracker that I'm after. But it will come. When the time is right, I will definitely get it. Uh, but right now, um, <clears throat> we are on our way to the local supermarket and we are going to go get our ingredients to make the special mussel dishes that um, I've been telling you about. Um, we're actually gonna make two separate dishes. The first one will be a um, more of a crumbed um, mussel dish, right? We're gonna crumb it uh, uh, and um, I think wood egg and stuff, Can, Terry? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so something different to me, but uh, apparently it's quite tasty, so I can't wait to try that out. And the other one will be um, a, a simple braised. Uh, braised mussel dish. And uh, yeah, stay tuned and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this content. Uh, guys, if you all have not subscribed, please consider to do so. I promise you guys, you're going to be missing out if you don't. <laughs> and for the guys that have the subscribed, thank you so much. Hit the bell notification button. You'll be informed with our uploads. And... Um, yeah, so we are heading towards our our supermarket now. Um, just going to grab a few ingredients and stay tuned. Oh, guys, one more thing, please, um, please note that myself and Terry, we do have our licenses for harvesting uh, mussels. So we are entitled uh, amongst the two of us. We are entitled to get sixty. Right? We have not taken sixty. We are, I think we took about forty or fifty of them, but we handpicked them. Guys, please.
please note you are not allowed to use any shovels any daggers anything of that sort uh, you are, I think you are allowed to use a knife but uh, obviously uh, at a certain uh, length um, so we handpicked them so they're all nice and big fat and juicy um, but yeah that's that's about it guys thank you all stay tuned get some really really nice muscles nice big ones in fact and um, <clears throat> so basically what we're going to do first is you're going to give the muscles a rinse and right? that's uh, just to take on whatever sand and stuff that's on the shells and stuck on the vices it's more the fibrous part of the muscle that is uh, that is used to cling and attach itself onto the muscle rock right i never knew that until today Hey right, guys this is the muscles that we've got there's approximately 40 in here right and you as you can see it still has its seaweed on so we're just going to give it a quick rinse take off all that sand that's stuck in between right yeah there you go all right and then that's that's it just give it a quick rinse gonna drain out I'll show you the rest just now. right now that it's rinsed take them out put them in a clean bowl guys you notice that I'm not taking off the seaweed I'm not taking off the small shells you really don't have to those that's just on the outer part of the, the muscle what you're going to consume will be on the inside and on the inside is clean Right. So by rinsing the muscles, I'm just taking off the, the sand that's stuck in between the, um, the seaweed. Now that you have rinsed your muscles, I'm going to use the same pot which I've just rinsed up now. Guys, don't go and take your mother's nice pot from the house, please. Go and get an old pot. This is a very old pot which we don't really use on the inside. So I'm going to be using this on a dry stand. So get an old pot, it will do the job, right? So all you do guys, you're going to get your fire ready, right? Which I still have to do by the way. And just place your muscles into the pot. Like that. And that's your muscle pot, ready to eat. No, I'm joking. Listen, uh, don't, no need to add any water into this guys. You just need to put it onto the heat and whatever water that's in there, the muscles will cook inside its own juices and they will tend to, they'll start opening up and uh, that's when you know the muscle is ready. <laughs> so guys, um, I'm going to try something out that I also never tried out ever. I've got a nice size muscle here, right? And I believe that these mussels can be eaten raw, right? So I'm going to give it a try. And I uh, see I've got my spectators here who don't want to join come on, me. Come on, come on. But, okay, I'm going to give it a try. All you do is open them up, just like how you open them up to bait up, right? And <laughs> doesn't look too nice huh, when, you, <laughs> when you know you're going to eat this thing. Right, so you just clean him up. Just like that. Just leave the shell here. Right. I'm gonna have half of it. Right, but just an interesting uh, fact here guys. Something that I read up today only. The, the muscles that are orange inside. Those simply mean that those are female muscles. And the ones that are um, white and pale in color are the, um, the male ones. 
So just take note of it. Every time you open up a muscle, you'll know whether it's a female or male. So today I'm eating a female because it's orange. <laughs> right? Guys? Raw muscle? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take two on testing a raw muscle. Still have to get used to them. Here we go. Watch better now. You see that? It's actually not too bad. It's actually quite tasty. Right? Uh, it's salty. It's very salty. And uh, will I try it again? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I prefer my food cooked. But anyway, guys, they do, uh, they can be consumed. Uh, if you're really, really hungry and you're on the beach and you cannot cook it, you can consume them raw. Okay, guys. Um, from what I can see, yeah, muscles are all opened up and looking good. Looking good. So what I'm going to do here is take it off the fire and uh, time to clean up. Shot. That just took like, I would say six minutes. Yeah. As, as normal. Late for the early show. <laughs> Late for the early show. I got Kavi here, who's helping, <laughs> gonna help me now. <laughs> to split this uh, muscles and just clean them up. Let's, let's go for it guys, let's go for it. Okay guys. Those are the muscles that are ready, right? Um, as you can see, they all opened up. That's when you know it's time to clean. Now guys, very important, how you clean these muscles, right? These are living creatures. They're actually living creatures, right? So they also feed on, on stuff, right? And um, they, are, they have a food bag that you need to take off, obviously. So I'm gonna take you through this and show you how you how you get them clean. Yeah, so guys, as I said, you'll take off the grass, right? By just pulling that out. Okay, and then there's a small food bag on the opposite end. And once you pull that there you go that's the food bag that i'm talking about that you need to take off right and then that's this is the muscle that you will get to eat so you all you do is you rinse it in a little bit of water just like that put it into the bowl and you're good to go let me show you one more time right the muscle shell is already opened take the muscle out take off the green grass Just like that, turn your muscle the opposite way, where you see a small black patch there, right? That's the food bag, which you pull out, get rid of that, you can't eat that, and give your muscle a rinse in the bowl. You get to see me in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so all you need is diced tomatoes. But very good, this knife needs to be sharpened. This kitchen knife is not as sharp as my bait knife. Okay, so because we're braising, one tomato, one small tomato is good enough, right? Onions. Now, can I have some uh, water, please? 
Onions is a must, guys, for flavor. Not a lot, Mel. <clears throat> Some nice fresh garlic, guys. I've got some fresh onions, I've got some diced garlic, some green chili and some curry leaf. So for now, I'm just going to put just everything but the, but the tomatoes. Right. Let's do that. So I'm just letting you to braise now. Yeah, that just needs to braise. Okay guys, onions are nice and golden brown, right? So what I'm gonna do is add my Kashmiri chili powder. What quantity are you putting? I'm putting three teaspoons of that because I've got green chili as well. Guys, make sure it's Kashmiri and no other chili powder, I'm just joking. Any chili powder will do guys. Right, you mix him up. How's that color? Ayy! That's, that's, that's ooh, ooh, ooh. One more spoon, okay. Terry says one more spoon. Yeah, I know. There we go. Right. As your masala is frying, guys, you can add your tomato. Remember, I just put one tomato. We're not making a chutney, we're braising, so one tomato is sufficient. Alright. A little bit of jeera. There we go. Give it a mix. So before your masala burns off, right? You're gonna start adding your mussels. Teddy, can I add the mussels? Eh? Hundred percent. Let's add the mussels in, guys. Check this out. I will need the salt. Just give it a mix. Okay. Small touch of salt. A bit more. There we go. Looking quite lucky. Huh? Mm. Okay, lovely man. Can't wait to taste it. This with the with the garlic bread. Oh can't wait guys. So <coughs> I, I never knew cleaning muscles were that easy. Because you know when you uh, when you think about a mussel, it's in a hard shell and uh, you think that it's going to take some time to clean. But this literally took us about 30 minutes guys. This is a lot of mussels that we cleaned. And it was just a quick steam, don't add any water. And then the cleaning of the inside, you saw how fast it was. So yeah, quite amazed. Definitely going to be trying out this again. Right, and uh, it doesn't take too long because remember the mussels are already cooked so it just needs to simmer a little bit with all the flavors and it should be ready to go soon I would say another two or three minutes and that should be ready gents <laughs> mussels are ready and a whole lot of dania to go with it coriander coriander how's that guys Even the guys that are fasting are feeling for the season. Oh, you can chow the curry for Yeah. There we go, guys. Voila! Done! Let's put this on the platter. And we've got one more dish to show you guys. Now we're going to make a separate dish, right? We're just going to cram our mushrooms and uh, I'm going to take you through this, right? As you can see, I've got a little bit of our clean uh, mussels there, right? All you're going to do is, you're going to take your breadcrumbs. Okay. 
not a lot of bread comes guys i'm gonna put it into a bread packet right? a little bit not too much all right seal that up and all you need is two eggs guys we're just gonna break that up one is enough oh one is enough okay teddy says one is enough Right. Let's put that in the bin. Okay. Hi right, guys. Minimum, and then minimum. we're gonna beat this egg up. Yeah. Alright, okay. once beat it up. Muscles. So the egg. Alright, and then you're just gonna toss them in the egg. Alright guys, once in the egg, you're gonna take them out. Can I just pour it in? No, take them out. Okay, there you go. Guys, once dipped in the egg. Straight into the bread packet. And together, let's give it a shake. <laughs> I think I need more crumb here. Yeah? No, no, no. Yeah, I think I do need a little bit more crumb. A little bit more in here. Okay. Thank you.